as we continue. It's the National Convention of the New Nigeria People's Party. And the event is bringing together party faithful from the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. After key deliberations, the amended constitution of the party was adopted. National Auditor. Names of new executives who will be overseeing the affairs of the party for some time were then reeled out. This is then followed by speeches. I deeply believe that today will mark the beginning of the real change in our march to confront the quagmire of political, economic and social challenges of our country. These are challenges that are not inevitable. They are challenges that are imposed on us, imposed on the country, on the common people of our society, occasioned by years of mishandling of the affairs of the country through unprecedented corruption and mismanagement and continued ungovernance. The national leader of the party then makes his speech. He reminds the federal government of their responsibility towards securing lives and property. So many people that have been chased out of their homes, so many that have been killed, some are in the bushes now, in the forest, under the care of bandits and other criminals. And it looks like many people don't care. It is even become, becoming a normal thing to go and beat people in their homes, on the roads, in the markets, and so on. And you mean it is funded in this country that this sort of nonsense is happening. As education forms the major thrust of the party's vision, they call on governments at all levels to make education the right of all Nigerians. Thank <laughs> you.